How's it going, y'all? Just when you think I couldn't come up with any more ridiculous camera angles, here we are. Well, not that I'm particularly renowned for coming up with interesting camera angles, but there goes my monitor again. That's my computer monitor, by the way. And that's my final, my final Fantasy XII license board chart. Anyway, today is January 27th, 2008. And today's a really special day for me. In fact, actually, this day is about as important to me as probably probably even more... Well, I don't know if it's more important then, but it's about right on par with my birthday as far as, like, most important personal days of the year. And uh, the reason for that is because of this right here. This is my very first private tape, which that's what I called them at first, private tapes, and then I called them diaries on tape, and then I called them audio diaries, and then I called them whatever. But you might just say that they were the origin of vlogs. It wasn't video logs, but it was voice logs. And as you can see, I have a speaker here. That speaker is attached to a tape player. Here's another tape. You can't even read that one. Well, yeah, you can read this size. February 24th, 1992. It's really hard to read this one, though. But that's that's my first one ever. And today marks the 16-year anniversary since I recorded this. So I thought, well, what the hey? I'll play it. We'll just listen to about a minute, that's all. I'm not going to sit here and make you listen to the whole freaking thing, but it's about 20 minutes long. Hello, this is Timothy Bishop. January 27th, 1992. This is to be an extremely private tape, and I suggest now that if it is not Timothy Bishop listening to this, I suggest that you turn this tape off right now. This is extremely confidential information, and Timothy Bishop does not want you hearing this. So if your name is not Timothy Bishop, and you don't live in commerce, I suggest that you stop this tape right now. I'm the worst lip singer. Okay. Now let us begin. Some of the problems that I've been having in life, I don't like to share with other people, because I'm afraid if they try to do something about it, they might make it worse. And, plus, I have to feel guilty for taking away their time when they could be out doing something, taking care of their own problems. That's enough. <clears throat> but it's amazing how much things stay the same, you know? Because when I listen to that first part, that first minute, I realize I really haven't changed at all since I was 15 years old. Well, was I 15? Yeah, I was 15. Then. I was just about to turn 16. Yeah, so, uh... I don't know, I just thought that'd be interesting to throw that out there and let you in on a little secret. Let you hear what I sounded like when I was 15. I was pretty, like, I don't want to say the G word, but I was pretty gay on these tapes. This one right here, it starts off, I say, I'm just tickled to death that I get the opportunity to do this again. I'm like, tickled to death? What kind of a guy says, I'm just tickled to death? You know, and I, I did it again later in the tape. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't think he was going to be there, but he was there. I was so tickled. But there it is. There you have it. There I said it. There I've done it. Like that country song, I tell you. Yeah, this thing is kind of old. And I actually stole this from Virginia when I left, but, yep, it belongs to uh, Nick. Anyway, <clears throat> so there you have it. Um, my right wrist started hurting at work today. It feels a little better now, but it's been like, it's been about nine months, possibly a year, since the last time that this happened. And it's just, it's when it gets like this, it's really bad. And I've looked it up, I think it's just, like, cysts or something. And I've read that you can, like, hit them and make them rupture and then they'll go away or something. But I've tried that before, I sat there one time and took a book and went, and I was like, ow, ah! Uh! <laughs> it's just... There's nothing more funny than listening to somebody say ow after hitting themselves. Like, what are you doing, jackass? But it, but I don't know, I've tried that and it hasn't really worked too well. But the weirdest thing about it is that it'll get to a point where, like, if I make the slightest move with it, it hurts. And when I would go in to start the car, when I would turn the key to start the car, it would hurt to do that. And I had, like, when it would happen to my left wrist, I'd get in the car and I'd try to close the door. It would hurt to do that. It would hurt to pull the door shut. And it's just like, I mean, you can't function if your wrists can't handle 
even that much pressure. But, you know, and so when you think about it, it's like, well, if it's if it hurts just from that much pressure, there must be something seriously wrong with it. But I know there's not because two days from now, it's going to be back to normal and I'm going to be able to do anything I could with it. Or just, I'm going to be able to do everything I originally could with it. So, and if it was broken, it wouldn't just be better in two days. It wouldn't get better and then get worse and then get better and then get worse. If it was broken, it would just be bad all the time. So whatever this is, it's like arthritis or something? I don't know. I don't know what could possibly cause that. I mean, pain is not spontaneous, right? I mean, it has to be caused by something physical. Today was the day I just wanted to get through. I got two more days of work, and then I got three days off in a row. Lost premieres on the night of the second day off. So I just got to get through these next two days, and then three days off in a row. Yeah. can't tell you how happy I am about that. Because I put in for a personal day. It's like, you know, I've worked at that store for six years. I've never actually gotten a personal day before. I've gotten them, but I've never taken them. When I got around to 2008, I thought, well, hell, I got three personal days this year. I should start, you know, I should start taking them. I mean, if you can get paid and not go to work, why not do that, you know? I just think, you know, I mean, surely they have that in other countries, right? Don't they have paid vacations like in Brazil or Japan or anywhere else? I just, I, w I would think that that would be something that Americans would get more of because... I mean, let's be honest, we're not exactly renowned for having particularly high disciplinary standards, you know. Anyway, well, I sure didn't mean for this to go on for this long. Okay, I'm going to stop the tape now. I hope you've enjoyed listening to my uh, scary 1992 diary. So, happy January 27th. 16 years since my first vlog, and now we're still doing it.